All right, so the other day I was looking around for some screenshot utility that I could use to take screenshots of my desktop. If you're not using GNOME or KDE or some desktop environment like that, then you probably know that it's not as easy as just pushing print screen on your keyboard. You probably need to install some utility to do it for you if you're on a window manager like me. And so I was looking around for a good screenshot utility and some of them are just way too over engineered for my uses. Some of them you can annotate a screenshot, put a bunch of text in it, upload it to some image sharing service, and all of that I don't need. All I want is the ability to take a screenshot, maybe just clip an area of my screen, take a screenshot of it, and maybe the functionality to just screenshot the current window and not the entire desktop. That's basically all I want with a screenshot utility. And so I found this project right here, which is very nice. Uh, the only thing I don't like about it is the name. It is Scrot, which is kind of a disgusting sounding name, but I'll take it because it's a very nice screenshot utility. And this is a pretty old utility that was kind of brought back to life. As you can see, it's in the project Resurrecting Open Source Projects, which is really nice. It was unmaintained for a while and some people brought it back to life. And this does everything that you want it to and more. And you can install it, at least if you're on Debian or Arch, through the official repositories. If you're on something else, then you can try to install it from the official repositories. Uh, you might need to build it from source here, which is not that difficult. You would basically just install a few libraries, run a couple of commands to install it. But once you have it installed, it is a command line utility. So, of course, you can run it from the command line. And the nice part about having it be a command line utility is that you can also use it in different scripts. So you can kind of extend the functionality using some bash scripting, which is what I've done. I'll show you how you can do that. But just the very basic use is going to be scrot right here. Run that. And it's going to save it in the current directory. So if we open this up, we now have a screenshot right here. It is automatically given in a name. But you probably don't just want it saving it straight to the home folder. You would probably want it to output to some location maybe a screenshot directory that you have. And you can do that just by passing in a location here. So let's say pictures slash screenshots, and then just the file name. So let's say this as scrot.png right here. And of course we can open up our pictures folder. And now we have a screenshot in here called scrot.png. That's pretty good. But we can do one better by doing a little bit of scripting. So I have a scripts folder. It's going to be in .local slash bin in my home folder. And let me just open up this screenshot right here. Just make sure to put this script somewhere in your path variable. So I'm just making a basic bash script right here. And I'm setting the output here to the screenshots folder that I showed before. But you can also pass in these values right here in order to get the current year, the month, the day, and the time. So I'm just getting all those values and then putting screenshot.png on the end. And so whenever I run a screenshot with this command, I can run screenshot right here. And then of course it will save it to the correct folder here with the correct file name that I specified right here. And of course then you would just bind this script to some key binding. For me I'm using SXHKD. So just go into whatever you're using for your key binding application and you can set it there. So for me personally whenever I hit print screen it's going to run the script screenshot. And I also have a few other things in this script. Let me go over how to select an area of the screen next. And you can do this by running scrot dash dash select. And this will allow you to select an area of your screen, as you can see right here. And then it will only save this part, none of the rest of it. And of course, that's just going to save it in the home folder by default. As you can see, we have a clip of only this part. But there is one thing you want to keep in mind with this scrot dash dash select. And that is that scrot is actually using kind of an older method of drawing a square right here. So you might run into some issues with this. This looks fine now, but if you're trying to screenshot a video or something, let me just show you an example right here. All right, so we just have a YouTube video over here, and if I were to try to run scrot select on this while the screen is moving, you can see that it's kind of lagging a little bit. Uh, it's kind of lagging behind my cursor, and if you actually take a screenshot now, it's actually going to have the lines appear inside the screenshot. Let me just show you how this looks. So if you look closely, you can kind of see a little faint border around this, which looks really bad. I don't really want this in my screenshot at all. 
So you can use a newer method of doing this with scrot dash dash select and then dash dash line mode edge. And this will just give you a better line around your screenshot. So it'll never actually get into the screenshot. I don't know, personally I think they should make this the default now and just depreciate the old method of doing this, but this is what you have to do in order to have your selection look right. And so if we open up my script again, I'm getting the first argument here. And if you pass in the word select, so for example if I run screenshot and then select, then it will run this command right here, which I just showed you. So you would get something like this. And finally let's go over how to just get the current window. So if you want only one window and nothing else, then you can run scrot dash dash focused right here. And this will only get the current window. And if we open up the image right here, you can see that it is only getting this window and nothing else. You can pass in one additional option right here, dash dash border. As you can see, I have a thin gray border around this window right here as part of my window manager. So you can leave that border in or leave it out if you would rather. For me, I just like having the border. So that is the only difference. As you can see, it now has a border around it right here. That might look a little bit nicer to you. Personal preference. But that's really it to the screenshot utility. So finally, let's just put everything together and let me just show you everything in this script. So basically, we're just getting the argument. If you say screenshot select, then it will select it. If you use screenshot window, it will just get the window. And if you just type in the screenshot command and nothing else, then it will just get a screenshot of the entire screen, as you would probably expect. And then finally, it's just sending me a notification saying that the screenshot was taken. Because it's nice to have a little notification pop up here. It's a screenshot taken, so I know that something actually happened. I'll probably have a link to this script in the description if you just want to copy this over. It's nothing too complicated. So you just make a simple script like this, and then set the key bindings in your favorite key binding application. So for me personally, when I push shift print screen, it will select. When I push control print screen, it will just get the current window. And that's all there is to it. So there are just a couple more options that I wanted to show you. One nice option that you might want to use is the dash dash freeze right here. And so if you're taking a screenshot of a video here or something like that, you can just run this and then it will actually freeze the frame right here. So you can take a screenshot without it actually moving at all. You can run scrot dash p in order to capture the mouse cursor as well. If for some reason I wanted to get a screenshot of my mouse cursor too. And there's a few other options that you can see by looking at the man page for scrot. This will just have everything possible. But to be honest, I don't really use most of these. Most of what I showed you is in the video already. And so that's what I use for my screenshots. It's a very simple utility. Just because you probably don't need some giant utility that can annotate your screenshots and all of this other stuff. I like to keep it simple, so go and try out Scrot and see if you like it.